Let's make a table using the frame stool in Onshape. I can start out by creating an extruded construction part whose edges will be used as reference for the table's frame. I can now start using the frame stool to make the legs and horizontal members for this table. In addition to the extensive library of built-in profiles that Onshape offers with the frame stool, you can also create your own custom profile libraries for easy reuse across your company environment. When creating frames, you can build geometry by using faces, edges, or even just points as references. As I'm creating these members, I can use the Limit Frame Ends option in the Frames tool to cut the frames to the proper length. For the lower horizontal features, instead of creating an offset plane and then a sketch in two separate features, I can utilize mate connectors inside of Onshape's sketch dialog to define the placement of this sketch plane. This will now allow me to make the sketched outline for these members at the proper height in a more efficient way. As I mentioned earlier, you can also create extruded profiles by just selecting two points in space with no other reference lines required. This allows you to quickly create cross beams like the ones you see here with ease and efficiency. In this case, since the table is symmetric, I can utilize our part mirror functionality to mirror the newly created cross member to the other side of the table and see the parts list updated for me. To clean my environment up, I can delete the construction part that was used for creating this table. In addition to this, as part of Onshape's multi-part nature, I can also go ahead and create the tabletop right inside the same part studio as the frame. This will allow me to reference the top face of the upper horizontal members for the sketch plane, and then the outer bounds of those upper horizontal members to properly size this component without it being in a separate file. For some final steps, I can change the color of the frame so that they all match, and then add a cut list to my design. This will treat the frames as a composite part and show all the information about them to the right of the model. 